Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Before delivering my speech, I would like to address some of the points raised by the opponents. You said that gentrification causes loss of cultural heritage. However, communities are always changing. Change is a part of our life. When the government gets involved in cultural preservation, it can be that. Look at the museum. Culture is how we live. It falls upon the people in the community to strategize how to keep a culture. In the same way, a government doesn't create a culture. It cannot control or preserve a culture. Also, we said that gentrification causes widespread displacement. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, when neighborhoods change, some families do get pushed out, but research shows that long-time residents are more likely to move when their neighborhood gentrifies. Sometimes, they are actually less likely to leave. According to Washington Post, the probability that a household would be, would be displaced in a gentrifying area in New York was 1.3% only. Ladies and gentlemen, just a 1.3%. A 2015 study in Philadelphia also found something similar. Neighborhood income gains did not significantly predict household exit rates. So now back to my speech. As the second speaker, I remind you how gentrification benefits a city, how the government already has certain laws in place to help poor communities, and how poor communities are supported within the gentrified communities. There are many reasons why people are poor, and often governments support these people in a society already for certain laws for housing and financial support, but it's an overreach of governments to prevent gentrifying areas, a phenomenon of a free market and why the, free, the forces of gentrification are beyond any governmental control. Ladies and gentlemen, gentrifying areas can help poor communities live in a better conditions. Gentrification surprisingly creates more subsidized housing, not less. According to researcher Sue Butler from Brookings Institution, many cities like New York City and Los Angeles have so many laws which force developers to build subsidized housing for the poor as well as price impacts for the world of newcomers. The new investment in this area helps create more subsidized housing and bring a long-term benefit to the community. Now, let's turn our attention to the improved living standard after gentrification. According to a new study by MIT researchers, crime dropped 16% in Cambridge, Massachusetts and U.S. after gentrification. Furthermore, public infrastructure is improved by gentrifying an area. According to research done by Victoria Transport Policy Institute in Canada, the provision of public transport and services is more efficient in the city and becomes cheaper for those who are unable to afford a car or who have to use public transport. There is much better infrastructure in the city that has been gentrified and this benefits all socioeconomic groups, including poor communities, who are supported with subsidized housing. Ladies and gentlemen, gentrification improves the development of a city. All citizens can enjoy better living standard and better facility. So now, let me finish my speech about Teamline. Let's not stand in the way of progress. Thank you.